I'm a success in there. Yeah, I said it. A success in there. A person that celebrates each and every one of their successes. Now, I won't equate it in terms of what size that success looks like. I won't determine it by what someone else measures that to be. I'll only tell you that I'm a success in there. And you've heard the word millionaire and billionaire, right? A billionaire and a millionaire is one who you know is to have a lot of money. I am a success in there because I have many successes. And I choose to celebrate each and every one of my successes. I choose to just sit in the moment of success. No matter what size it is, no matter how it's packaged, I just choose to celebrate. I choose to celebrate if I wake up an extra 15 minutes and work out. I choose to celebrate the fact that I didn't respond negatively to someone who put negative energy out there. I choose to celebrate the moments that I say it is now time for me to take 15 minutes to just sit and dwell in a quiet and a peaceful place to myself. Now, I celebrate those moments because I didn't used to celebrate those before. Instead, what I did was I focused on what I hadn't accomplished. I focused on what I felt miserable about. I focused on what made me feel less than. What made me feel less accomplished. However, I've learned That in order for me to be happy, no matter what space I'm in, I have to celebrate every single win, every single accomplishment, every time I pass the finish line and I didn't quit. Every time someone comes to me and says, because of what you said, I'm now motivated to shift my way of thinking, to shift my actions. And I celebrate that. I just sit in that moment and I, I'm thankful and I'm happy and I'm at peace about celebrating that moment of success. And because I have many successes, not saying I have many successes as I'm rich or that I have so much money and I have so many material things, but my success lies within me and how I can celebrate every single moment and time and opportunity that I have to just say, well done, Kia. Job well done. You accomplished that goal. You did what you said you were going to do. You didn't feel like working out, but you did. You didn't feel like meal prepping, but you did. You didn't feel like making that phone call, but you did. You didn't feel like staying up late and doing that work, but you did. And that makes me a success in there. And you too may be a success in there. But what you've done is you've allowed setbacks, a few no's, a few closed doors, a few moments of resentment or hurt or betrayal to not let you live and celebrate all the small wins. See, I can celebrate and I can call myself a success in there because there were there was a time when I didn't celebrate myself. I didn't know how to pat myself on the back. I didn't know how to be my biggest cheerleader. I didn't know how to be the one in the stand standing up every time. I didn't know how to say, Kia, I'm proud of you. 
And now that I do, I want to share that with you. I want you to be able to celebrate you and call yourself a success in there. So today, take time, a few moments to start jotting down all the successes daily. Journal them so that you can look back and say, wow, look at what I've done over the last 30 days. Look at what I've done over the last 90 days. Look at what I've accomplished that I set out to accomplish. And again, we're not going to talk about or we're not going to judge the size of it. We're not going to measure it. We're just going to celebrate it. So here's the example. Today, I'm celebrating the fact that although I woke up later than I normally do and I wasn't able to get in my workout like I normally do, I'm going to celebrate the fact that when there was traffic, I didn't get frustrated. I'm going to celebrate the fact that I did at least take a few moments when I had a break to breathe, to say thank you, to sit in a few moments of gratitude. That is a success. I didn't know how to stop before. I didn't know how to pause before. And so any moment that I can celebrate myself, that I can sit in gratitude, I can celebrate the fact that I don't have a negative mindset like I used to. Do I have bad days every now and then? Yes, I'm still human. But I can still celebrate the fact that I'm a much more positive person. That I don't allow things to affect me like I used to. That I forgive people. That I can let go a lot easier. That I can release you lovingly and mean it. That's a success. I can reach out to people who I wouldn't normally reach out to and say, I wish you well. I can start my day by starting in gratitude and thankfulness. And at the end of the day saying, wow, you are successful. You are a success in there. And so today, I'm sending you love, light, and the most positive energy for you to make a shift so that you can celebrate every single win you have and to stop measuring those wins, to stop saying, oh, that small thing, that little thing, that was nothing. Stop telling yourself that and start telling yourself, you are successful. You are a success in there. You keep winning, you keep winning, you keep winning, you keep passing the finish line. You are a success in there. I hope that this has touched you in a way like nothing else ever has. Because we are the hardest critics on ourselves. We don't give ourselves enough leeway to say, you know what? I don't have to look like what everyone thinks success looks like. Success for me is growth. Success for me is forgiving. Success for me is motivating. Success for me is being at peace and happy and in gratitude. So for you, what is success going to look like? Is success going to mean that you've taken, you've X'd out your bad attitude that you used to have for a good attitude? That's success. I'm not thinking about success in terms of how many degrees I have, where I've spoke before, how much money I've been paid. That's not my level and my measure of success. And so I'm telling you, Measure your success differently so that you will be in position. You'll be in position for the success you may really be thriving for. But it won't be that you're constantly chasing something because you've already celebrated every single success 
that you've had. You can sit in that moment and congratulate yourself. Pat yourself on the back. Clap for yourself. So when those moments of larger goals are met that you're really looking to happen, it's it's still a win. It's still a success. But you're not focused on that so much anymore. You're focused on the feeling that it gives you, that peace and that happiness and that gratitude that you are a success in there. Now, what I want to do is I want to offer you the opportunity to connect with me. If you are not already subscribed to my page, go ahead and subscribe to Kia McLean. If you're not already following me on social media, my Instagram handle is Kia's Coaching. It's K-E-Y-A-S Coaching. Twitter is the same thing. And you can also follow me on LinkedIn under Kia, K-E-Y-A, McLean. My website is kiascoaching.com, K-E-Y-A-S coaching.com. I have three of my books of poetry, which is a series. It's called the Healing Poetic Expression Series. The first book was published three years ago, and I've published a book each year on my birthday since May 4th. This year marked the last book as part of that series. So you can go to the website. You can pick up all three copies. You can reach out and connect with me. I would love to connect with you. All of you success and heirs out there, start to take a moment to just sit in gratitude for every single solitary success and watch the peace that comes over you and the happiness that you will have by celebrating yourself, success and heir. I love you. You have a great day. And don't forget, connect with me and share this post.